What's up? Thank you for checking out Piggy Garage. Today I have another Next Base uh, dash camera review. This is the 322GW uh, uh, Next Base dash camera. Uh, if you guys have seen my other videos on all the Next Base cameras, I've done the 222, uh, the 522GW, um, the 122. I've, I've done a lot of the reviews. Um, and this is the one that I'm missing, which is the 322GW, uh, making these reviews so you guys make the best choice on which dash camera is best for you. Um, this one is brand new in the package, and um, make sure that you're following me on Instagram as well, as I'm going to be giving another dash, uh, or another next base dash camera away for free, just for following me and uh, checking out my channel, which I, I appreciate um, you doing. So. This is the, like I said, the 322GW. I'm gonna go ahead and un, uh, or open it for you guys. It's in brand new package. It's never been opened before. I'm gonna show you guys what's included in this box, everything that it comes with, um, and all the unique features that next base cameras um, bring to you. Um, that's with the GPS, the quick mounts, all the different things, which I will uh, get to you in this video. I'll also do some driving, let you guys hear the uh, microphone functions on this dash camera to hear how it sounds, see what it looks like, see how the GPS function works. I also do some nighttime driving. Uh, this uh, dash camera is a 1080p dash camera at 60 frames per second so it's nice crisp and clear so I will go ahead and get to that it's also a 140 degree wide angle lens so it gets everything in front of your car but uh, let me go ahead and open it up for you guys so you guys see everything uh, like I'm seeing for the first time uh, opening the camera so guys here's the camera I'm gonna go ahead and just take a, a knife I'm just gonna go ahead and take a knife and uh, open it up this is gonna be really fun with one hand There we go. Okay, open it up. Some people actually, you know, find enjoyment out of taking saran wrap or whatever the plastic is off things. Um, I, I guess I do too. Uh, there's one sticker here. Always a nice box. It has a nice texture to it. Just uh, some features and things that take uh, take things to the next level. Um, it just has you know some information on top telling you what's uh, involved with this dash camera, which I will get into. Um, nice thank you letter. It also says to uh, you know use uh, or it suggests to charge these um, dash cameras for two hours before using. Um, I just kind of just put mine in and, and start it right up just to uh, show you guys. Here's a quick start guide. It shows you everything that's involved with uh, getting the dash camera started. Also using the Nextbase um, app on your phone. Uh, pretty quick, easy to download. If you want to use the SOS function, you need to do the app. Um, but I'll show you guys exactly how to set it up, set up your, uh, you know, your dash cam so you can get, get ready to go so you don't have to read that. But beautiful packaging as always. It looks like the quick mount fell off or came off. This is the base plate for the quick mount. Take this out. Here's the camera. Um, one thing that I love about these dash cameras that I think, you know, take it to the next level above other dash cameras that I've seen. One second, let me just open this up. Okay, here's the dash camera out of the packaging. Sorry, it was giving me a little bit of difficulty. Um, what, what I was trying to say is what I love about these dash cameras, they're, they're, they don't feel cheap. They feel like they're gonna last a long time. They're heavy, hefty, good quality products, no sharp lines, um, clean beveled edges, really nice. Um, here's the screen. It, it just pretty much tells you, um, you know, the things that you should do before setting it up. Uh, like I said, charge for two hours. This is a touch screen. Use the default settings for best results. Download the Nextbase Connect app um, for additional functionality, including emergency SOS services. 
editing and sharing uh, videos. And then this little button right here is to lock a video. So um, if you wanna lock something, let's say someone cuts you off or you know something falls out of the truck bed and it doesn't um, lock the video, uh, you just hit this button and it'll lock that video so it prevents it from being written over. Um, this little blue thing fell off, but that goes on the front to protect the front lens. This is the 140 degree wide angle lens that you can see. This is also the front plate that the quick mount will go into, which is really nice. Um, on the side of the camera, right here is where you go ahead and place the SD card in. I just buy the SD cards from Nextbase. Uh, also, everything that I have in this video, this dash camera, all the other models that I use, will be in the link to in the description below, so you guys can check that out. Um, since I was talking about locking the video, what this does is I'll go ahead and just uh, say that it records in 1080p at 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, or uh, 720 um, at 720 at 60 frames per second, or I believe 30 frames per second. You can take that off. This is the nice. Um, two and a half inch touchscreen with IPS technology. Um, it has intelligent parking mode, which means that there's a G-force sensor. So if this camera shakes while parked, because it does have an onboard battery or depending on how you set it up, it won't turn off, but it won't drain your battery because it pulls little, uh, you know, a little voltage. Um, but it has a nice little onboard battery that um, if it's shaken uh, or senses a G-force uh, admission or senses that something has hit the car, it'll go ahead and record um, for you. So you can go ahead and pull that off. Um, also what's great about this model that is not included in the lower models. It really starts at the 322 and up model. There's this little thing right here for a rear view um, video camera to be plugged in or a onboard uh, dash camera. Um, I think it has a, a picture of it so you guys can see. Um, Yeah, so pretty much you take this off and you can plug in one of the uh, one of the cameras of your choice. Choice. It's a nice little feature, so you can you know get all angles of your car. Um, I will also be doing a review of that. I have this um, inboard camera and reverse uh, camera. So one camera just plugs in right here, um, and it faces everyone that's inside the cabin. So it's nice for Uber drivers and such. And then the other one plugs in here and runs all the way around your car and goes to the uh, rear of the car and records everything going on behind you. Um, this camera does support up to 128 gigabyte uh, SD card. What that means is how this camera works is it records in a one, two, or three minute loop. So it'll record one, two, or three minute long videos all the way up until the SD card is filled, and then it'll re-record over those loops. So back to locking the, the locking button that I was talking about here, that'll prevent a loop recording from uh, recording over what you've already recorded. The same thing happens if this camera is sh uh, shaken, it'll lock that video so it'll prevent it from being uh, written over. Really nice. Um, like I said uh, already, this camera has the SOS emergency emergency response feature. You have to download the app for that, but it pretty much, uh, depending on how you set it up, it can send a first responder to your location uh, using the, the GPS function uh, if you're hurt, injured in a really bad accident, which is really nice. Uh, it also has the uh, quick uh, disconnect, I believe they call it the quick and go mount, which is included in this box, which I will take out in a second. Um, Wi-Fi and blue, uh, Bluetooth is used on this camera so you can easily view, edit, and share videos right on your mobile device, tablet, um, etc. So you don't always have to pull this SD card out and view it on your laptop or PC at home. Also a very nice feature, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this box out. Also the presentation I, I love of these cameras. They're always nice, um, look good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of here. 
Um, give me a second. So this is everything that's included in uh, this little case or included with the camera, suction mount, USB cable, power cable fitting tool. This helps you if you uh, you know want to either run a hard connection to your car or just the cigarette outlet, which is nice six foot long cable where you can you know reach any cigarette lighter in your vehicle um, and a nice bent uh, USB uh, connection right here uh, so it's you know very seamless it, it really sets it up nicely in your car so it's not like a sore um, or uh, eyesore um, also it has the click and, uh, click and go pro GPS mount I'll show you in a second that's what this is and then this is also a mount to where you can actually just use the 3m adhesive it comes with two in case one gets bad um, and you can just put it anywhere you want on your window. All right guys, so here's the next base camera uh, plugged in. Here's the seamless cord that I was telling you about, uh, how it goes very seamlessly. Um, and pretty much this is how it works. You put the camera up right here or wherever is most suitable to you and then you can angle it any which way up here. Then this cord can run through uh, along the side of your, um, you know, the upholstery of the car, down through wherever you want. Here's the cigarette lighter in my Ford Fusion. Sorry for it being a little bit messy. My cars are normally never messy, um, but it comes off really easily. Or if you wanna just take the camera off, you can just pull it off right there from that magnetic mount. So I'm gonna take this off. Oh. So I am took it off the window. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to go through the setup of this camera. English, first time installation, please use the following menus. Just hit okay. Very nice, easy to use touch screen. It's very uh, touch sensitive, which is nice. Normally some things are you know, very finicky. This uh, dash camera is not. All right, okay. So USA, Eastern, uh, mile an hour. So this is just for the GPS for, uh, you know, showing speeds, how fast you're going. Um, your dash camera will automatically set the time and date when the satellite signal has been received. Um, to, so this is how you uh, connect to your phone using the Nextbase app. Um, this is for emergency SOS. Just for right now, I'm gonna skip this step setup is complete and there we go so already it has started recording uh, doing the loop video setting uh, I'm gonna stop that I'm gonna go to settings and just take you through the video settings um, so video settings resolution this is where you can change the different resolutions right now it's at 1080p for 60 frames per second you can do 1080p for 30 frames per second 720 for 60 frames per second 720 for 30 frame, frames frames per second um, depending on what video card you want to use and how fast it stores up you can change these settings but um, for the best image quality I just leave it at uh, 1080p for 60 frames per second um, video length this is how long the loop goes for so um, the video segments um, you can take one two or three minute video segments I just leave it at one minute some people like to leave it at three minutes but it will record three minute videos all the way up until the SD card is filled um, I'm just gonna leave it at one minute Audio, this is whether you want the onboard audio on or off of the camera. I just leave it on for now. Um, exposure is just uh, kind of like light sensitivity pretty much. Um, just leaving that the, the, the same. My next base is that this is this is just to pair to your cell phone um, to you know view those onboard videos, send those videos from your phone, tablet, other devices. Um, this is to plug in the reverse camera. Uh, you would just, you know, click that and uh, it would it would work. And then this is the uh, SOS. Um, how the reversed camera would work is it would plug in right here on the side. I actually have one of those. I'm going to make another video of, the, uh, of that. Also, this is what the uh, onboard camera looks like. It just plugs in right here. Um, this is 
uh, it shows like the cabin and the right and left side of your vehicle. Um, it's very easy to use. I'm making a video of that as well for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, here's the setup, recording history, um, maximum, screensaver. This just has the... Oh, it tells you the speed and everything. Uh, parking mode, this is like for if the uh, G sensor um, languages, country, everything in the initial setup. Okay, um, but yeah, so that's pretty much everything about the camera. Very easy to set up and install. Uh, it's just that simple. All you have to do is put it where you want it. I'll put it right here. And there you can see the timestamp and everything. Uh, make sure that it's, you know, getting everything, you know, the front view of the vehicle. I think this is good for me. Um, you can see it right there. Um, and then it automatically starts recording as soon as the car turns on. Um, there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys for a ride along. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys for a ride along, show you guys the audio quality of this uh, dash camera, the 322 uh, GW, along with night driving and day driving. Uh, it won't be that long of uh, footage. You can skip through it if you want, but uh, I think it's a great camera so far from setting it up. And I, uh, like I have said before in other videos, I love all the next base products. All the cameras are, are really top quality um, and you get what you pay for. It's, it's, it's nice and it'll last a very long time. Perfect for a gift to a family member or for you to use yourself. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and cut to uh, the video, driving videos uh, using this camera. I'll do some audio so you guys can hear what the audio sounds like as well. Uh, as always, thank you so much for, for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave a comment below. And thank you for checking out the channel. All right, guys, so this is just um, me talking to the camera. Uh, this is all audio from the 322 GW Next Base dash camera. As you can uh, hear, it's uh, decent audio quality, easy enough to pick up things, um, you know, alerts from the car. You can hear the blinker, you know. Uh, it's also good to have this stuff for if you ever are in an accident, it will, uh, you know, allow you to show this to a judge or something showing that you did have a blinker on or you, you did indicate something or things were said, you know, maybe there was altercation where you wanna, you know, show that recording. Um, you can also lock the video by hitting the big red button uh, on the bottom of the camera that prevents it from being uh, looped over. Also, if the car senses uh, vibration uh, using that G sensor, it'll automatically lock a video. So if you were in an accident, it would automatically you know, lock that footage and prevent it from being written over. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to drive and let you guys see the, the, the and allow you guys to see the video quality of the uh, next base dash camera. So here is a car in front of me. I'm gonna get a little bit close. 
uh, just so you guys can see that uh, if there was a need for you know you to run a license plate this uh, camera is clear enough to you know allow you to see the number uh, of the license plate in front of you you know whether that's for a hit and run or something that you would might need you know lettering words from uh, a stop sign or from So this is night driving. I actually switched cars for you guys. I am in a uh, Explorer Sport right now, so a little higher. Um, you can see that you can change the angle to get whatever driving you want. Um, but yeah, so this is the night driving. I'm just gonna do a little, you know, short clip of uh, what it's like to drive at night. Uh, no one's really in front of me right now, so you can't really see any license plates, but you can see the speed, you know, speed limited sign. Uh, the numbers on license plates if you pause and zoom in on the video um, but yeah uh, great camera uh, thanks to that HD it makes it for pretty easy uh, to, to view it on the video um, but yeah uh, great camera uh, thanks to that HD it makes it for pretty easy uh, to, to view um, you can also see uh, the speed and everything else uh, with the camera